Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Nomadic Ink Channel. Today, I'm doing a boot review, boot try on. Uh, we'll talk about some of the wear and tear that I've got going on with these boots. So, uh, let's put them on right now. The laces are kind of short because they um, broke, the leather broke, and I readjusted them. But they will, uh, they will tie up. So, I love the way that sounds when like your foot sinks into the boot. Right there. All right. Now with these boots, we've got this inside tongue here. You're gonna want to do a nice little fold on that. And uh, I like to tighten up these bottoms, the bottom loops. Now once you get to this part, part right here where the hooks are, you can go one lace at a time. Really, really cinching them up. Okay. Down here at Corbin Park, so there might be some people out here in the background um, that you might hear playing some volleyball and some disc golf. It's a lot of fires out right now, so the lighting's not so great either. There's a lot of smoke in the air. There we go, nice and tight. Now that feels good. Really cinch it up around your ankle. There's a lot of support. So yeah. So these are them. These are my Knicks, um, Homesteaders. They're getting a little bit worn um, down here on the sole. They're going to be needing a resole in here pretty soon. And they do pretty good. Uh, a lot of times I'll step on screws and they'll just go right into the bottom of this boot. You can see they're covered in drywall dust right now. And we'll get a little bit closer here in a second and I'll show you some of the the cuts in the nicks that I have in my nicks. So. Now these are really comfortable boots. I mean, I really can't tell you enough of uh, how nice it is to have this arch support right here. Um, and like I said, they're nice and tight right now around my, my ankle. They're just really snug. I mentioned in some other videos, they just kind of feel like a, like a second layer of skin, which they basically are when you consider it's just leather. Um, I've got an extra toe cap on these, which makes that pretty tough. Keep that from uh, breaking on me. And uh, I believe they added one back here. Um, I mean, it's this is a solid heel cap, that's for sure. So... We'll take these off here in a second. You can see how flat they're kind of getting across there. Not too bad. These almost look like rough out. But these, these are actually smooth. They're just so uh, beat up. I've never cleaned them since I got them. A little bit of heel, heel popping, some of the nails. You say we'll see the bottoms here in a second. these leather laces these things are awesome um, you're gonna have to replace them obviously like, like I said they broke um, this is I believe my third pair or my second pair I don't know I've had a couple pairs of these leather laces I really enjoy them I feel like they cinch the boot up pretty good and uh, I don't know I just like the way they feel so that's how I take my boots off I'll open them all up like that easy for me to go ahead and pop my foot right out of there um, now these boots have um, calloused up like the side of my toe here a little bit and then a little bit on my heel but nothing major um, other than that like I don't get any like foot fatigue from these boots where you know that I'm just like dying to take them off during the day so but yeah <laughs> they're all clean inside Man, these things have just been beat. I've had these for about um, a year and a half now. Woods underneath there. A year and a half now. And uh, 
Um, I probably should have gone with the Honey Vibram soles because they're a little better on the concrete and the hard surfaces as where these are the um, the lugs and they're kind of more for outdoors you know woodsmen and stuff and I also got this logger heel which I like because I like the way this round is um, yeah and I feel like they're wearing in pretty good like I said they feel awesome I can't wait to actually get them rebuilt so and then uh, I'm gonna get a pair of Franks I hope um, made before I get these rebuilt so that I can um, you know not be without boots because I feel naked without these boots I'm not gonna lie if I don't have these boots I'm not gonna be a happy camper so um, let's get up close and I'll show you what's going on with the bottom of these boots and um, we'll take a closer look at um, some of the, the damage that I've uh, done to these boots all right let's take a look at these things things or look at that I've got a nice scratch right across here you know the heels aren't coming off there's a little bit right here in the front because I use that kicker a lot and it's kind of um, smashed in some of the sole so you can see that um, look at these nails you can see the nails, they almost need to be tapped in. Uh, they're probably only being held up by the glue now. Look at that. And we'll take a look at these. Getting pretty flat. You can see how I walk. I don't know. Put a lot of pressure right here. It's getting flattened out. And uh, now those screws are almost sticking up past the tread. So there's a little bit more on there. There's a an actual screw the screw head broke off like, these things are awesome for like saving your feet that's for sure what else we got going on here it said really rough look at that that was a smooth leather but now it just looks like rough leather um, this tongue this inner tongue is real soft and it's uh, holding up pretty good what am I at what's my sizing here they got it marked in here normally. Or maybe it's on the other boot. Let's see. There it is. You can't really see it too well. Nine and a half E. So that's my size with them. So this is the left boot. Look at all that. Like wood getting underneath there. Starting this back here, same kind of thing. You see these nails? They need to be replaced. It's getting that. It's getting that time. It's gonna gonna need to have these things uh, um, uh, rebuilt here pretty soon. And you can just get them resold. Really, they don't need a full rebuild, so that won't be too bad. I think it's like 150 bucks, 200 dollars. Look at that. It's crazy that that's the sole that I walk on every day. It's just this little flap of uh, of rubber right now. All right, what else do we got on this this boot? Look, this one's got a nice nick in the back. Right here. I mean, that one's pretty deep. Um, but, you know, nothing that's, like, torn. No leather's torn on here. They, You know, and I was really surprised at how much, like, this stitching right around here has not... Um, you know, it hasn't come undone at all. None of these, none of these stitches. This is like, the craftsmanship is pretty good. You know, I was pretty satisfied with the craftsmanship of the, the boot. Um, a few things kind of bugged me about it, just like the overall way they, they felt and the fact that these were supposed to be rough leather, but, um, you know, they gave me a discount on them and stuff. So, um, a couple other things I had brought up about these screws, you know, coming out but you know what you can always just wrench them down yourself everyone's got a um, screwdriver you know but I'm excited to eventually get some Franks made um, I talked to him a little while ago about going in and doing a video about uh, you know start to finish getting my you know, feet measured and trying out the boot and then having the boot made and then you know being able to do some reviews on that I really want to get some type 1 commanders they look sweet 
Um, I'll probably maybe get a brown this time and uh, do a honey vibram sole, so maybe they'll last a little bit longer. So, um, anything else you guys want to know about these boots? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not too sure if I was too thorough in this video. It's kind of more of just showing off the dirty boots. Um, get a lot of people requesting to take a look at them. They they enjoy them. Oh, oh these are also steel toe boots. Man, they they feel awesome. I wish you could see inside there. It's like <laughs> it's too dark, but. It's all nice and stuff. These are super comfortable. They don't stink. My feet don't uh, sweat in them. I paid uh, $600 for these boots, and uh, I'd pay $600 again for them. They, uh, they're they amazing. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. These are Nick's custom boots, the Homesteaders. Um, the Hot Shots and the Homesteaders are the only two that are actually hand-stitched anymore. The rest of them are made on like a macaw. I think that's what it's called a macaw um, machine so um, all the other boots from them are, are made like that but I really wanted the handmade ones or the hand stitch ones so that's why I went with the homesteaders I didn't really care for the hot shot so much I mean they're all pretty much close to the same but um, they also have some really nice casual boots and stuff too oh there's my sock look real cool all right guys hey like share subscribe see you in the next video Comment down below if I missed anything or you want to hear anything about these boots that I, uh, like I said, didn't go over in this, uh, in this video. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.